welcome back. Well, just a little while back, conservative columnist Andrew Bolt wrote a very inflammatory, which is his one, I guess, um, article in the Sun Herald on how Christian churches have gone a bit quiet on the issue of Christian persecution in places like the Middle East. Here to help us untangle this mess is our religious freedom consultant, James Standish. How are you, James? Who also writes inflammatory articles. No, yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's great to be back. Yep. Did Andrew Bolt make a fair point? I think Andrew Bolt brought up an important point, whether his article was fair or not, Probably not, and I'll tell you why. Uh, he makes the argument that churches are more in, uh, interested these days in disinvestment of Israel uh, in retaliation mm. for treatment of Palestinians. Re suppose. Refugee issues. Right, and, or, yeah, yeah. and uh, all these different groups, and not cared about, and we don't care about uh, Christians who are being persecuted. That's not entirely fair. It's not entirely fair because, of course, the church is a very big organization and very mm. diverse. Many uh, parts of the church have been very, very strong on the, on the mm. Christian persecution uh, in particularly North Africa, the Middle East, the, the terrible things that we're, we're seeing, uh, whether it's the abduction of, of Christian girls, the killing of Christian students mm. uh, in Kenya, the uh, ethnic cleansing against Christians in Iraq. This is all happening and people are speaking up about it. You and I are speaking up about it, Ken. Sure, we, we are. Uh, Andrew Bolt nominated a, a series of Christian groups and I think it would be fair to say they're probably on the sort of liberal side of the spectrum. Right. Is it, is it a fair thing to say that somehow the issue of Christian persecution has become a conservative issue? Well, I think in, in some people's minds it has. And uh, look, How but, is that? Because I, I don't get that, James. Sure. Well, because the it, on the far left, there is an, a, a, a suspicion or animosity towards religion. And there always has been. I mean, you know, if you go to the far left. And uh, in, some, in some ways that has seeped in uh, even to the more liberal denominations mm -hmm. who sometimes view uh, particularly pr uh, proselytism, sharing the gospel, mm -hmm. as uh, in, innately uh, suspicious activity. Mm -hmm. So, yes, is there some of that? But I don't think it's fair to say that 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 is that characterizes mm -hmm. uh, large denominations first and secondly just because people are talking about issue A and focusing on that doesn't mean that they have animosity mm. to issue B but Christian persecution is something that all Christians should be involved in sure. because this we are living through one of the most difficult times for the Christian church mm. in the history of the Christian church mm. it just happens not to be happening in our neighborhood but surely as Christians, we should care about what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Nigeria or Iraq or, or, or in China. So, but what should we be doing? I mean, are, are statements from archbishops, you know, going to move Islamic State out of Syria and, and out of Iraq? Well, that's, that's one of the big problems. What do you do in a place like uh, Iraq? Uh, uh, statements, sit-ins, uh, song fest, whatever it is, it's not going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's going to make a difference there is force. Most of us are a little bit uncomfortable saying, let's get troops back into Iraq. Particularly churches. Well, exactly. So that's the first problem that we have. The, but one solution that we do have is people are leaving Iraq in droves, Christians mm. and the Middle East. Where are they going? Mm. Well, those of us who live in Christian countries, majority Christian countries, why can't we open our doors to these men and women who are leaving these families mm. and say, come here because you know what? we can provide you a safe haven. My family first came to Australia as Christian and Protestant uh, uh, refugees. Mm. I'd love to see us opening the door to other mm. Christians. And why is that a left-wing issue? <laughs> hey, thanks so much, James, for your time today. It's a pleasure. We'll go straight away now to Family in Focus.